Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, then please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button so you know whenever new content comes out. I know it's been a while since I posted a video and I apologize for that, but if you're still around, thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it a lot. I can't stress that uh, enough. I'm trying something a little bit different today. Instead of live commentating on my game, I wanted to try going over my gameplay and give commentary as a lot uh, as it's going as it's is playing so that uh, I could point out my mistakes, uh, misplays, good plays, all in the hopes of uh, improving myself. Uh, but not just that, but maybe you see something in your own gameplay that you can relate to and maybe fix problems that you see that I'm making as well. Um, and pretty much just highlight that. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the video and uh, give you my thoughts along the way. I am playing um, Vlad into Katarina. Um, and so our Pike wanted to invade here. And so I didn't really want to uh, because they do have a Morgana. But you know what? I do what the team wants. We got a flash there from uh, Jin. Uh, but I was worried about the Morgana here. Uh, but again, Pike is also a very good level one. And I believe we actually do make a good play here. I didn't know why Pike still wanted to go in, but it looked like that Yi was still coming out here. He didn't, didn't look like he knew what he's doing. A nice flash hook there. I ignited there just to secure the kill. I don't think it was necessary. I think we double ignited there. Uh, but into this matchup with Katarina... Um, if it's a good Katarina, um, then she could still play around uh, this matchup. But I actually think out of all the Katarina matches I've played, I feel like Vlad is pretty good into her. Um, so I'm pretty confident. And you can see that uh, throughout my gameplay, I do play pretty aggressively here. The thing you want to pay attention to with Katarina is uh, when she throws her daggers like that, wherever her daggers land, you want to be wary of where those are. Now, level one, obviously, she can't jump yet. But levels uh, two, three, you got to be careful of uh, when she does that, depending on what skill she takes, uh, whether it's her E or W. So I'm not too worried here about taking some poke because I can just queue up. And uh, Timo <laughs> came from the roam, and it's funny, he put a little poke onto Katarina, so more pressure into my lane, so appreciated that. But at the same time, he's missing out a lot in the top there. Um, so you can see with my Empower Q, Katarina should not have walked up like that. She takes a lot of poke damage. Again, I can apply a lot of pressure um, into her even early. So I'm level two and she still gets hit with that. And so I get phase rush there. Really good poke, applying a lot of pressure. Again, she's still level one. So I want to auto her as much as possible. Try not to miss CS like I did there. And you can see in the uh, as Timo's walking out, I don't know why, what, what happened there. But Timo got caught by Yi and Darius. And I don't think we win that. Um, just because Darius is pretty strong uh, early stages of the game. So I, I decided to, to go back to lane and keep applying pressure here. Uh, remember as Vlad, you, you're not as good of a roamer, um, you know, as other champions. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, and I don't have Ignite also. This Katarina, I don't know why she jumped onto that. That's just very bad of her. If I had Ignite here, I would have gone all in there. Uh, but it's all good. The wave is pushing back to me. Um, so that's going to make it even worse for her. Uh, so you could see that I, I have immense pressure here. I still have my pot. Um, and the more she walks up, the more she's just going to get punished. Uh, with my empowered Q, you want to play aggressively. I, I try. I thought I would have enough damage there. Obviously, I didn't. Again, if I had Ignite, if I just played patiently, um, that, that was my mistake there. I would have had a kill if I had my Ignite, but I, I got antsy. Sometimes when you have the empowered Q, I just want to. I just want to go in as flat. That's my, that's my over aggressiveness there. Um, but she doesn't have flash now, so that's good. Um, one thing I notice is I don't um, scan around the map as often as I'd like. Um, so that is a weakness of mine. And here comes Yi. Um, and so I know Katarina's low, and I know Warwick's coming. So I figure we can fight this. And so now. Um, that she's doing this, we can easily get her, and Yi is nowhere to be found. Uh, he, he knew to abort that once Warwick showed up. Um, Katarina used her Ignite there too, so this is really good. Now I can shove this in. Uh, try not to miss CS. I know I missed one there. Um, but I want to get a reset off of this. I'm winning already at CS. I have a level lead. I'm going to have even more of an XP lead because she died uh, and I'm getting these minions and she's not. What's also really good is that my wave is a cannon wave, so it'll be harder for her to push back. And so when I can, when I back, um, it's going to be harder for her to shove it back to my lane. So I shouldn't miss too many creeps uh, buying here. So it's a really good reset for me. Now as Vladimir, I always go Fiendish Codex and... Uh, 
Kindle Gem, those are core, uh, core elements of um, Vlad. You want to do that 90% of the time, maybe even 95% of the time, because it gives you a lot of CDR, which is what Vlad needs early on. Um, and something I've been doing differently instead of, and Warwick just into there, <laughs> Warwick just straight up into Then And I told him, wait for the shove, because he was just so antsy to dive in there that, um, he was just taking full aggro. And so it's still early in the game where turrets are going to do a lot of damage to you. But I was just saying Kindle Gem and Fiendish Codex are really good uh, for that CDR. And then after that, instead of building a uh, Proto Belt, which I normally do, which is pretty core on Vlad, um, I'm going straight up damage now. Uh, because I feel like it gives you er more early game presence. And again, Katarina is just getting pressured so hard here. Um, there's really nothing. I don't know why she's playing so far up like this. Even if she has vision, um, I have my ignite up. Um, and so she's got to play a little safer. Um, and again, once you have Kindle Gem and uh, Fiendish Codex, what you want to do is your cooldown on your Q, uh, once you get to like level 7 or so, it, it comes down to like four seconds. So you want to take trades, um, good trades, even if you come out a little lower in XP, I mean in health, because you can queue up and heal back up. And that becomes an overall positive for you. So again, Empowered Q, that's when I play aggressive. I see the Yi and the Warwick fighting down there. Um, I want to come in, but I, our bot lane is missing. Or our bot lane is, is not there. So And Jin is there. So I want to be careful. I, I'm keeping an eye on Katarina as well if she's going to roam down. I'm just stepping up here to basically be a, a, a living ward to see what, what Yi is going to do. Um, and so I decided to go back um, and I wore the dragon just to make sure that he's not doing I'm walking straight through the brush here because I'm not scared of Katarina. Uh, I see that that bush is warded. Again, in this matchup, I have my ult now. I really, I see I ulted there, and that's actually, again, another m misplay by me. Um, you want to try to do it um, when she uses her jump, even though it resets with her daggers. Um, that was not a good ult for me. Um, my thinking at the time, I think, was that maybe I can get her low enough to where she would have to recall again, because I do have my ignite. Um, but I think if I just waited for a better opportunity, kept poking her out, uh, it would have been better. See, and you notice I warded there. This is something I see a lot of high elo players doing. And it's basically just to see if Katarina is going to follow. Um, it's also, you know, with a roaming champ like Cat. And this is where it's really dangerous. Yi dodges my E there. Um, and of course, he steals it because Warwick smited to get the health back. I don't know if that was worth it. But Yi pretty much knows he's dead. But he, he accomplished his goal in stealing the drag. So that's unfortunate. I do see Katarina roaming. Um, so she's right there. And I want to fight her. Because even with her ult, I can get out alive. And so I see her wrapping around. And she's coming down. I feel like we can pinch her here, um, but Warwick's too far behind. So uh, she must have warded back there because she must have seen Warwick coming. But do you see how aggressive I am? I'm up here. I'm just zoning her off from the minions uh, because I know she can't do anything. Even if she ults, as long as I have my pool, I am okay. And I'll come out ahead. Again, I'm just trying to get my E onto her, especially when my empowered Q is up because she can't really walk up. Another thing you can do with against Katarina is if she daggers like that, see I'm hovering around it because if she does, I can E her like that. So I am I play around it like if my E is up, I'll hover around the circle just uh, kind of debate her to go in and then I'll E onto her and it slows her, get some damage onto her. But remember early ranks your E doesn't do quite as much damage. Later in the game it with items and levels, your E does, does a ton of damage. So um, keep that in mind. All right, so I feel like uh, at this point, my ult is about to come back up. So I really want to pressure her off this turret. Um, at this point, shes I don't think she's backing. Uh, see, yeah, I could, okay, maybe I did think she was backing. Again, I thought I would have enough damage there to get her. She's so low. Again, this is just miscalculation on my part. Um, I thought I could get her. Again, if I had Ignite, it would have been better. Um, I thought since she's backing, maybe I can try to get her to stay she does back and he takes the the wave uh, i want to back too since i have 1600 gold um because i can't really stay here i can but if i do i won't be able to return you can see i'm up pretty much like 20 cs above her uh which if if you want to do quick math every 15 cs you're ahead is about the same gold as a kill so one thing I like to do is look at how many CS I'm ahead and just pretend that that's a kill. So I'm one, zero, and two, but if I look at this, I'm really two, zero, and two. Um, and it, that kind of gives me a, a better visual 
uh, idea in my head of how much gold I have compared to Katarina. And I see Katarina roaming, I ping, tell them to back off. At this point, you can't roam. You can roam, but you're going to miss XP. And since I have a good XP lead on her, the worst thing that I could do here, at least in my opinion, is to roam because I'm going to lose that XP over her if she gets a kill or a double kill. And I don't have alt. I don't have uh, flash. I do have my ignite coming up. But at the same time, if they can just waste her time, this is going to be so good. Look how many minions she's missing here to her turret. And I'm getting turret damage, which is something you shouldn't be able to do as Vlad. Like, you, you can, but Vlad is not really an early game plate taker uh, unless the opportunity like this is given to him. So I have a cannon wave now going in. She's missing this cannon. She's She's missing a ton of XP. She's falling further behind. So this is why um, not roaming is sometimes better. And you can see they're pr pressuring that bottom turret more. Um, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can roam now since they're really committing hard to that turret because I'm not going to get my mid turret, obviously. Um, I don't even know if I can get another plate. Uh, top is now gone, missing, and Yi is missing. So um, I figured it might be a good time to roam. So I'm going to ping now because they are staying here. They do end up getting Katarina. I feel like she's, she's tilted at this point, trying to force something to happen because she knows she's so far behind. And again, you just try to capitalize on that. So what am I going to do? They already got a kill on Katarina. Uh, I don't need to go down there anymore because they've backed off. And so now I could just keep shoving these waves in, make her miss more. And if I could just hit more CS, I'd be really good. I'd really be really far ahead. But uh, obviously, that's not happening here. So do, do not do what I'm doing in missing uh, CS like that. So I'm just going to get another plate here. And I think I should back, but I guess I'm just going for it. Because I think at this point, I have Ignite, have Alt. I feel like even if Katarina comes, I could possibly dive her. I don't know. That wouldn't be a good idea because she has her, her dash. But again, I'm just playing this lane so aggressively now because I've secured a strong lead. And the fact that she's even coming up like this, Warwick is around as well. So I'm like, you know, maybe we can dive her if she stays. She does go back a little bit. Um, but now I'm just going to keep pressuring this turret. I see Yeet, the uh, dragon. Um, but honestly, I don't think that she can do much. Again, just, um, oh, I don't even know if I got that E on her. See, sometimes the thing with Vlad 2 is you need to know when to release your E early. Obviously, the longer you uh, hold it, you can get that slow and more damage. But sometimes it's better to just get some damage rather than no damage. I'm playing aggressive here because even if E roams up, I know my Warwick is right here. So I'm kind of hoping that Katarina does jump in because we would win this 2v2 so hard. I have Ignite, my ult. Um, and so I'm shoving it in and I'm just going to follow Warwick because I know the drag is up and Warwick wants to go there. So I'm following him and sure enough, there's Yi. He flashes in. Uh, again, Yi's Q is, he dodges, he dodges with his alpha strike, my E, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm not really scared of Katarina. Again, I still have my ult. So I'm okay staying here. Their jungler's dead. Our jungler's dead. Uh, I feel like we have Pryo here. But it looks like we do back off a little bit because we're taking dragon damage. And uh, I don't know what Katarina's doing here. Um, I don't get that, unfortunately, because um, the black shield saved her butt. But, uh, okay, it looks like I'm just going to go back here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what items I get. It looks like, uh, see, I was deciding whether to get Proto Belt since I can't complete it. But honestly, getting a needless rod, uh, needlessly large rod early on is super good because you already have your CDR and then getting the AP is really what you want. Proto Belt does give you a kind of a gap closer, which is great. Um, but... I've been playing around with this and I really enjoy getting a look at that. I'm up 40 CS on Katarina. I'm up a level. Um, things are going really good. And so when you have a lead this big, you want to pressure, pressure the map, pressure fights, force fights, force them to make a mistake. Um, and so I'm going down. Pike gets the nice hook onto Jin and the stun. He's going to die. Uh, but I think maybe we can fight because Warwick's here. Um, I don't have alt, which is unfortunate. I'm chasing here. I dodged the... I didn't dodge it on purpose, but I see Katarina coming out. All right, Katarina is definitely going to die here. Um, so we get her. I want to flash in because I thought I could get her. Fortunately, I get... I get rooted for so long with the Morgana Q, and then I get hit by the Jin W, and it's just no good. I see Warwick is going crazy, but um, it's actually not bad, and he does get out, and... Uh, 
because of that, I was looking to maybe make him play on Morgana there. Um, so pretty good working out uh, for us. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because I don't think there's anything going on. Go back to lane. Um, so what I'm doing here is I have no more item slots, right? So um, I want to kind of just wait till I have enough gold to finish my um, my uh, spellbinder. Spellbinder is another good item, and this is why I don't mind rushing Spellbinder instead of Proto Belt as much, because Spellbinder, when stacked, you can uh, press it and you get a movement speed, kind of like a Ghost. Not quite as good as Ghost, but it still gives you a burst of AP and movement speed, so um, it's really, really good on Vladimir, which is why I opt to go for this now, because I think it's a decent replacement for Proto Belt. All right, so I was trying to steal that, but... Obviously, they get the smite going in there. Um, again, just going to zone off Katarina because I am not scared of her at all. I have my ult. Uh, Pike is here. I'm honestly not that worried at all. Uh, Morgana shows up, uh, probably to counter this Pike. Um, Ka uh, Caitlyn is pushing bot lane by herself. They're solo there. So it looks like there's there's three here A-ramming. And as much as possible, uh, once the tur turrets go down, the side turrets go down, uh, you don't want to stay in, in mid that long uh, when the rest of your team starts grouping here. And in fact, the, the right play would be for, Ka for C. Caitlyn is by herself against a Yi. Um, I can't believe I got hit by that. And I got hit by the... the they it's just the CC chain is terrible, and my dodging skills obviously need to improve drastically. <laughs> my I'm an old man. My mechanics and reflexes are, are not as good. All right, so I want to back, but I'm trying to ping them to defend this turret because I don't want to give them a free, um, you know, I don't want to give them a free turret. They need to defend it. They need to defend it, and I need to go to a side lane. Um, and this is important if you're a solo laner because you want to keep getting solo XP. Uh, otherwise, if you stay in the mid lane, you're losing gold because, you know, minions are going to somebody, probably not you, but more importantly, you're losing XP because you have to share it with whoever else is in there. So you can see this is why I'm going to the bot lane. Uh, Jin is shoving this wave in. I'll be able to catch it, get more gold, more XP, keep the lead. All they have to do mid is uh, not die, honestly, because we already have a huge lead. Um, if they can push the turret, that's great. We got a, I got a lot of good early game damage on it. Um, and if I could just not miss minions, which I'm doing like crazy, I think even when I was playing, I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, so 122 CS at 17 minutes is not good. <laughs> it's not good. And the thing is with Vlad, the later it goes, with the more AP you get, Oh, and this is where I misplayed. Um, I saw Vlad, I did not see, so this was my problem. I was just shoving mindlessly, not paying attention to where Darius was. And honestly, I got put in my place to, uh, you know, because Darius is pretty ahead. Um, even though uh, Timo did end up getting the turret, he's got, he's really strong right now. Um, and I can't beat him at the moment. Um and so even if it was one on one, there Jin was there. But even if it was one on one, I still died. Basically, I died one on one. Jin didn't really do anything there. So um, that was a misplay on my part, not checking the map. Um, I also don't check tab enough. Uh, tab brings up the scoreboard and items. I need to be looking at what items they build so that I can counter them. So if if Darius, for example, was getting early MR, then I might want to consider going um, something that can penetrate that because um, not just because of that, but because um, he is probably the most fed on their team. Uh, actually, he is. He is the strongest one on their team. So I want to be able to match that because otherwise he'll keep snowballing. I won't be able to kill him. Um, and so in the bot lane, since they're going bot, I didn't want to go back there with them. I want to keep maintaining the solo XP. Um, that is why I didn't go bot. The correct play would for them to keep going mid, but people are so scared to miss their wave, but the laning phase is over. It is no longer your lane. So please remember that... Um, you know, if you're bot lane, your primary objective, you've got the turret bot. Now you need to go mid and pressure that because you have the most control. You're able to defend uh, as a solo laner. You need to give the solo lanes uh, XP so they stay ahead, especially since I have such a big lead. This was my mistake because I face checked that brush. Um, that's plain and simple there. I flash, but honestly, it wasn't um, it wasn't great. I thought maybe I could... Oh, no, I, I, I lived. Okay. I tried to ignite her, but uh, I don't know if I was just misclicking or not in range. Um, I can't believe I survived there, and that's just because I'm so far ahead. But honestly, that was a poor play by me, just face checking. I think I got a case of I'm untouchable right now because I am so far ahead. 
that, um, you know, CC will still still kill you. So you got to be careful about that. And obviously, I got CC'd really hard there. It got ulted, queued, everything by Morgana. All right, let me fast forward a little bit. Um, so uh, another thing to note is that you see I'm going to the jungle right now. They're, again, just kind of hovering mid nothing i could do there side lanes are pushed out so at this point i'm gonna take jungle i know that's one thing that junglers don't like but honestly with the new jungle changes with uh camp spawning much more frequently it is totally worth and okay for you to take them as a mid laner don't let them say otherwise because honestly it's free gold on the map if nobody's getting it then it's not worth anything. So somebody on the team should get it. And honestly, it's past laning phase, so they shouldn't be crying about it. Um, but my jungler wasn't crying about it. I wasn't saying that he was. But that's just a, a thing that you should keep in mind right now. So I see bot top is uh, getting shoved in. Again, uh, mid lane is pressuring, but Teemo should really be going to a side lane right now. We have good control in the mid lane, so I'm, at least jungle is coming with me. But Teemo is just kind of AK at the base. I don't know what he's doing. He needs to be getting bot lane right there. So I'm going to shove that out, uh, reset, and then go mid, try to counter that push. Um, and again, I don't know what Teemo is doing here exactly. So I, I do end up getting Proto Belt now because I think it's a good uh, buy at this point to get some gap closer. Um, that was a good stun uh, on Pike's Park. Pike's Park. I said Pike's Park. Um, so again... <laughs> All right, Kateri is going to chase here uh, really hard. I don't know why. And Pike ends up living. Uh, and this is really good. When they're clumped up like this, alt. Um, alt and just do damage. Uh, the Jin here is... Yeah, it's triple kill from Caitlyn. Honestly, it's really good. When they're clumped up like that, it's the perfect time to alt. Um, all right, let's move forward. I think we yeah we end up doing going for Baron. We do know that Yi is still alive, so... Um, the correct play here is to, if Yi shows up, he's the only one alive, if he shows up, kill the Yi. So, Pike's, what Pike's doing is actually pretty good. He's, he's zoning out, um, and so Yi on accident, I think, try to alpha strike, but what happened was that Pike E'd while Yi alpha striked and brought him right into the pit, so it was a free kill. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional by Pike, but either way, it resulted in a really good play. So, we get that Baron, and, uh, we're really strong now. Getting another rod. Um, I opt to not go Zanyas early on, unless it's like a full AD team or they're just very bursty. But honestly, I think going Rabadons here is just really nice. Now, if they had a lot of MR, I would have gone Void Staff. But uh, the fact that they're not um, means I can just go straight AP. Now, look, they're all clumped together. I'm going in for the flank. Darius already engaged. I get the flash. I get the alt. I get the kill there. Um, and it's just going really good. Um, Darius is here. Yi is trying to go for me. Obviously, he should, but uh, it's a nice triple kill right there. As Vlad, you always want to... Oh my gosh, that was a nice E by Darius, but we're, uh, they're too strong at this point. But again, as Vlad, you want to try to look for a flank. The problem is, and what I'm finding in a lot of my plays where I, I do terrible, is that I go in too early or my team... We're not coordinated, so my team is there, but they don't put any pressure or distract them. And so I walk in basically 1v4, and uh, which you can do sometimes if you're pretty strong on Vlad. So we're just sieging here. Warwick misses his ult, and he still tries to go and get CC'd. But we do end up getting the turret. I, I don't want to stay, but Pike's going in, so you know I got to go in too. And Pike is just uh, doing it, doing what Pike does. Um, at this point, I see a running Darius, and I want to get out of there. And yep, he does end up getting Caitlyn. I don't think we could stay. Caitlyn actually ends up um, being able to... Oh, nice try, but I don't think we can actually do this. Oh, and that's that's where I end up dying. Oh, no, I don't. My gosh, I thought I died. Holy shnikes. I, never mind. Um, man, I actually thought I, I was going to die there. I, I splat the BM, but honestly... <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was going to die, so I don't know why I flashed me. Maybe it just felt really good. I don't know. At this point, I'm just feeling invincible. It's one of those games where you just feel really good. Uh, get another kill on Yi. I think Yi is just t tilting at this point. Um, again, Darius is here. He does get a two-man E. Uh, Sterix pops off. Um, I don't have ult here, but I'm so strong at this point that I can kind of just do whatever I want. At this point, I have a lot of AP. My CDR is at 43%. Um, you could just spam your QE. Your pool comes up relatively fast in extended team fights. So again, uh, we're just able to continue to do whatever we want. Uh, they're just going ham. 
I'm trying to push the wave so that it could crash in here once we win that team fight. But honestly, their base is getting taken, and it's pretty much a, a good game here. A GG. Let's finish out the end here. So we're just going to siege it. Um, I want to flash in, but oh, I flashed in so late there. That was so bad. I think I got stopped up. I think I do die here. Because uh, that was... Do I die? Do I? Okay, I do die. I hit, got killed by Jin. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the gameplay. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this style of uh, video. If you like it, don't like it. If you'd rather see the live commentary. I think it's... One, one, I find that it's better because I can concentrate more on the gameplay because it is hard to talk and play at the same time. I understand how, man, I don't understand how streamers and other people can do it. So I think maybe I can give better commentary if I just watch the replay and comment on what's going on. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. But again, thank you so much for the support. If you like it, then please subscribe. And uh, until next time, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.